Uh, I see what's happening here. There we go. How about that? Detroit is in the building. Andrew, good morning to you. All is well. Thank God it's Tuesday. Yes, sir. Studio. Absolutely. Melvin, good morning to you. Mobile, Alabama is in the building. Angel, good morning. All right, we're good. Kiri, if I'm saying that right, good morning to you. Rwanda's in the building. Tyrone, good morning to you, man. Oh, 
appreciate that, Melvin. Listen to this. Kevin. Appreciate that, Mercury. You can think of it as D being the one, or you can think of it like um, B being the one, B minor. So you write on the money. Yeah. So yeah, if you play in D, that'll still work. But I like going back and forth, you know what I'm saying? Playing off that D and playing off that B minor as well. And I talk I talk about this a lot, like the relative major minor stuff going back and forth between. Um, so that means if it is the key of D or B minor, everything that I have available in D or B minor is available either way. So I can I can take you know either or and just kind of go for it. Uh, so it, it's it's really on what I'm hearing. So that's that's kind of the thing that I do when I'm coming up with these things. I try to go with you know what I'm saying what I'm hearing as opposed to thinking so much about the key. I'm a, I'm aware of it, but I'm not paying that much attention if that makes any sense. Yes, sir. Appreciate that, Tyrone. Y'all just seeing another angle. <laughs> That's all it is. You're seeing a different angle. Thank you. 
Do me a huge favor, go ahead and like and share this video with somebody, if you will. Appreciate that, Eugene. I'm just kind of going in between. I'm not really thinking modes right now. Whatever you're hearing from that, but I'm just kind of playing. I'm not. I'm not really doing a lot of thinking right now. Wow. I notice I kind of play better sometimes when I sing. Good morning, Tiffany and Charles. I, I kind of play better uh, when I sing, or at least sing in my mind. Uh, I'll try not to do it on the mic. <laughs> I can sing, but generally when I try to sing and play together, it, it sounds like trash, so I, I try not to do it too loud. gotta forgive me I'm, I'm kind of <laughs> getting into my John Schofield with the trashy bass happening here John Schofield is a guitarist for you guys that don't know who that is so you'll hear more that uh, hesitation rhythm type stuff we're hearing yeah, let me make it a little bit more Schofield Not necessarily talking about the phrasing as much as I am, you know, the actual sound, that slightly, um, you know, crunch sound. <laughs> Alright, so the director says, why do bass players have so many guitars? <laughs> I'm actually a guitar player first, well, I used to be. So that's, that's why you see all the guitars play guitar first. So for me, it's not a, you know, it's not a cop out or anything like that. It's, it's, I literally play guitar as well, so that's why you see them. So, good morning, everybody that's just now jumping on. Raymond, good morning to you. Andrew, Chris, good morning. And everybody else that's jumping in, I appreciate you. Be sure and share this video. Let me know where you're watching from if you haven't done that already. Mr. 
Mississippi in the building. Ghana's in the building. What's up, Brandon? Miami is in the building. What's up? Thank <laughs> you. 
might have spent enough time on that groove. Welcome everybody to Grooves and Motivation Live. I'm Jermaine Morgan. If you're new to this channel, do me a huge favor. If you like what you've heard so far, go ahead and press the like button and let everybody know you like it. And number two, be sure to subscribe and turn on my notifications so you don't miss any time that I go live. Generally, I'm going live on um, Tuesday mornings at 7.30 EST. 
even with the time change, I'm still here. Uh, it was dark outside for a long time this morning, <laughs> but nonetheless, I'm still here. Thank you guys that are regulars that jump in and join this conversation every week. I really enjoy speaking to you and uh, looking forward to uh, more things from you guys. All right, so we got Mike is in the building this morning. Hey, Jermaine, hope you can teach me how to improvise. All I, uh, all I need to improvise, please. Mike, I, I do a good bit of teaching here on this channel. If you're new to this channel, I do a good bit of teaching here as well as some courses that I have available on JermaineMorgan.net if I forget to mention that throughout this, uh, throughout this uh, interview. I'm saying interview, y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Steven, what's up, man? Know your sound? Hopefully you got your strap, man. I don't know if it's got there yet. The, the mail has been weird lately, but hopefully you got it already. Um, yo, I'm about to do something. I'm about to start doing some giveaways. I told you guys about this a minute ago. Let me, um, let me find. Recently, we just hit 38,000 subscribers here on YouTube. I appreciate you guys that are sharing the channel, that are letting people know about what's happening over here, what we're doing, even with the grooves and motivation and the rest of the base lessons. I appreciate it. What I want to do is a giveaway. I'm not going to do it this week. I will be doing it next week. So you have to tune in next week, next Tuesday morning to figure out how you enter to win your set of these SIT strings rock bright these are a set of five strings um so you have the rock bright stainless from 45 to 125 brand new pack of strings i got a few of these that i'm going to be giving away over the next little while so be sure to join in to figure out what to do to win your set of strings gonna be doing more and more giveaways on this channel so anyway just wanted to make a mention of that before i forgot um Let's see here. Some more people have tuned in. Ranzes. <laughs> Bernard, man, I call you Ranzes. I read your name every time before I read your message. Good morning to you. Thank you, man. Uh, uh, Steven, no problem. Thank you, Tiffany, for that. I really, really appreciate it. Again, I appreciate everybody that's here, um, that's part of this channel. It's, uh, it's been an honor to do what I've been doing for this long and not get tired in it. That kind of brings me to the subject of today's talk if you will we were talking about um hold on my screen got really bright <laughs> the power of daily discipline talking about the power of daily discipline and man that thing if i could spend a whole a long let's just say i could spend a long time talking about that daily discipline is everything because it, it matters that daily discipline matters in in the area of confidence um most of you guys know that i do the coaching calls for bass players so that's you know a little bit beyond the bass lesson we kind of dig into the mindset of why you're doing some of the things you're doing or why you're not doing some of the things you're doing some of my students are on here this morning so they can kind of attest to some of the things we share a lot of the times it's beyond the bass beyond the bass guitar because i fi figured out that a lot of it is tied into your everyday life your mental process now Nothing takes away from hard work and practicing all the time. I'm not taking anything away from that. But a lot of times, some of the stuff that we experience, some of the stuff that we go through, some of the things that we're not able to do in a live setting on this instrument is due to the daily routine. What do you do during your day? And that kind of idea. I see some more people joining in. Corey, good morning, man. Uh, Zay, good morning to you. I appreciate that Dallas and Louisville is in the building. So, yeah, I, I just wanted to say that this morning because those daily disciplines, those little things that you do each day, it's, it's basically, in layman's terms, keeping your promises to yourself. How you daily keep your promise to yourself makes all the difference in the world in terms of you moving forward, in terms of what you're trying to do, in terms of what you're trying to accomplish, how you're trying to grow on this instrument. If you're new to bass, if you're new to music, I understand that I have people watching me that aren't just bass players on this channel, so I don't want to. I try to make uh, the 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 message uh, from the grooves and motivation. I try to make it broad enough that it will reach you wherever you are, even if you're not a musician, because I do realize that there are more than musicians watching this channel. But if you are new to bass, those daily disciplines. Um, one of the things I tell my students is, you know, I would like for you to try to put in at least. 10 hours a week, you know, on a minimum, trying to put in 10 hours a week, especially as a beginner. And if you're older, 
I normally say you probably want to do a little bit more than that, not because it's impossible for you, but you got to work a little harder. You're starting a little later. Obviously, the older we get, seems like stuff don't move and work as fluently as it did when we were younger. So we got to put in twice as much work. It's still possible, but you have to put in twice as much work. And it comes back down to the little daily disciplines. What are we doing each day to move us forward? I noticed when I was doing a lot of the improvising at the beginning of this video, I had, uh, I think my man uh, uh, Fleetwood, let me go back, let me look at his comment. He was mentioning something about what I was playing. Uh, let me see if I can uh, feature his comment there. You, you was mentioning something about, you know, what it was that I was playing there. And, um, and that's good that you've been studying and you're able to kind of hear somewhat what I'm playing while I'm playing it or be able to kind of dissect it just by hearing it. That's really good. That, that shows that you've been putting in a lot of time in terms of trying to hear and trying to understand this type of stuff. But me, on the other hand, <laughs> not to say that I haven't been putting in, uh, put in time, tongue twister, but um, I'm not trying to think of all of that when I'm playing. See, my discipline comes more from what are my strong suits and how do I capitalize on those? I've realized over the years, my strong suits are my ears. I'm better at listening than I am at playing. And I'll let that, I'll give that a minute to, to, to sink in. I think the thing that caused me to be where I am as a player, and I'm not, and, and hopefully this doesn't come across the wrong way. I'm not where I want to be yet as a player, but I, I'm very aware of where I am in my ability to do what I do. But I think one of the things that has caused me to get there um, with uh, uh, considering hard work, of course, in the grace of God, of course, but listening, being able to listen and being able to hear and repeat, repeat some of the stuff that I'm hearing. And when I'm saying repeating, I'm not necessarily talking about copying. See, there's a musician in your head that's dope. And if you know what I'm talking about, just throw a thumbs up in the comments. There's a musician in your head that's dope. Have you ever been one to say something along the lines of, man, if I could just play what I'm hearing, man, it'd be crazy. So there's a musician that's playing in your head. If you've been listening to music for more than five years, you've developed some of a, somewhat of a, of a vocab. Why can't I talk this morning? Y'all pray for me. I can't talk this morning. But you've developed a vocabulary to where you can pull some ideas and that kind of thing in your mind just saying, when I was playing, you might have been hearing some different stuff that you could have played over that groove. You know, you might have been hearing. That's what I played, but you might have heard something like. Dun, dun, dun. So you, you might have heard all of that stuff, but maybe when you get to that bass or whatever your instrument is, it's a little harder for you to execute what you're hearing. That doesn't mean that ability is not there. It means it's underdeveloped. You need to develop it. It's there. If you can hear it, that means you can play it. I know it for some people, eh, I don't know about that, man. Yeah. If you can hear it, that means it's possible for you to be able to play it. You just have to put in the necessary work to access that part of your playing because it's not just gonna you know come to you some people are naturals but what we call natural to me is just those people tapping into what they're hearing the same thing that i'm talking about it's not so much that they are natural because they have to put the work in just like everybody else i've talked about this many many times before and i'm so glad that i'm able to see it firsthand now my daughter is a music prodigy she's she's amazing She's uh, nine years old now, and she's learning keys. She sits down on drums and figures that out. She sits down. Uh, she hadn't really gotten into guitar and bass much. She could play a little bit on the acoustic guitar. Just, I'm talking about like very little. And don't get me wrong. She's not a virtuoso, but she does have perfect pitch. And this is what I mean by being just super gifted. She has perfect pitch. She can hear everything in key. She even hears, she has what, what we call synesthesia. She hears music and colors and it is that's ridiculous to me all of that stuff just jumped clean over me i didn't get none of that so so i don't have perfect pitch any of that stuff but i'm, I'm always trying to push her because i see that gifting there but what i'm seeing growing up in the house or seeing someone grow up in my house that has that gift it takes away excuses to thinking 
okay, this person has a natural talent and they have a natural ability. She has to work just as hard as I did when I started learning. There's no substitute for the work. Now you hear people say, I sat down and I just, I, I just figured it out. You figured it out. No, you just, to me, the people who have that natural gift, they just hear it a little better. But the mechanics of it all, they still have to sit down and do the work. They still have to work through all of the kinks, try to get the correct fingering. Now, the thing that comes a little easier to them because they do have that gifting, they are hearing a little bit more than the average person. They are hearing stuff in key. They're remembering and retaining stuff a little faster and a little better than the average person. But when it comes down to the mechanics of it, we all have to do the same amount of work. So it really takes away the excuse. The thing, the hurdle that you have to jump across, just like me, is all right, let me figure out how to hear this uh, more regularly, where my daughter might hear something and immediately she catches the key. Me, I think I have what they call perfect relative pitch, something along that lines to where if I hear a key, okay, I can, I can find all the rest of them. Or sometimes I can, you know, I've been able to walk in a music store and just tune up a bass like our, our guitar to sit down and play it and tune it nearly perfectly i don't have perfect pitch but sometimes you know it's hit and miss that kind of thing but like i could hear the a, a relative pitch and get pretty close to that pitch but it, again it's something that you still you still have to work on let me go through some of these comments here um <laughs> andrew says hey jermaine does 43 counts for older folks Ah uh, man, you know we we ain't put no number out there. I'm gonna just let that linger. Wherever you think old is for you, that's that's where it is. I, I'm saying that in a joking way, because you're not much older than me. I'm saying it in a joking way because some people have handled their bodies or their g genetics or something that's a little different. So for them, what might seem old for all of us is like, yo, they're 50 and they're acting like they're 25. Like, yo, man, you you doing all this at 50? But it's just the way that your body, you know, you could be old at 25 if, if you haven't taken care of your body. So, you know, I, I won't throw an age out there, but just, you know, just know it's all about your body, how you've conditioned your body, how you work. Because some people pick up quickly. I have some students that are doing extremely well and they're older. They're up in age, but they're doing extremely well and they're moving extremely fast. So again, that, that number really, I know you were just joking, Andrew, but that number really doesn't matter. It's really about the, what we're talking about, the little disciplines, how we discipline ourselves, And that discipline over time makes a world of difference. That discipline over time makes a world of difference. I have something that I had to, a, a discipline that I had to kind of develop. And uh, I'm not always sweet with it, but I got a lot better than I was early on with it. I used to... <laughs> I used to be notorious for raiding the refrigerator, uh, refrigerator, I'm country, raiding the refrigerator at night when I lived at home with my parents. <laughs> I used to be notorious. 12 o'clock at night, I wouldn't go and get a snack. I would go and like my mom could cook or well, she can cook. So, you know, if there's leftovers in there, I would go in there and fix a full plate of food and talk. I'm talking about 12, one o'clock in the morning. I would fix a full plate of food and sit down and eat all of that, you know. But back in the day, you know, you had a high metabolism. You could get away with that. But now I can't do that. So one of my disciplines that I've started to develop is trying to eat an apple every night before I go to bed. It's, uh, you know, of course, I, I like sweets and I like, you know, salt just like everybody else. But it's a discipline that I'm, I'm trying to work on because the older I get, I notice my midsection got an attitude problem <laughs> some of y'all know what i'm talking about my midsection i'm trying to do one thing and my midsection's like nah bro we ain't nah we ain't trying to do that it's like it's trying to go the other way i'm in here working out every day and i'm i'm looking in the mirror i'm like yo what's 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 for real what's happening right now it's like it, it's it's harder when you get in those upper 30s i don't know what happens your body your metabolism like all right bro we out you know and so you, you're left by yourself to fight through this thing. So you have to develop some really, really good disciplines to make sure you're getting the, the, the desired result that you want. Because at the end of the day, that's what's gonna make the difference. In 10 years, it might not show up right now that I'm developing uh, this discipline of eating an apple, but if I keep eating full plates of food, we don't, we don't eat 10 years, give it about 10 months. At this age, if I keep eating 
like you know full plates of food a lot of carbs a lot of, i'm terrible with that stuff but a lot of carbs you know all this salt all this sugar if i'm doing all of that right before i go to bed it's not gonna take long i'm gonna be rolling in here all right grooves and motivation y'all let's go <laughs> you know what i'm saying i'm gonna be rolling in here laying back pretty good so it's those small disciplines it's those small disciplines that we really really want to be aware of um let's go back here uh let's see <laughs> charles said i'm a master voice basis go, go ahead man go ahead and a lot of us are you know but that's the thing those disciplines even in your practice charles and anybody else who you might say that as well i'm a master voice uh musician or i can i can kill with my vocals but <laughs> when it comes to putting it uh to my hands it's a, a whole different story now the discipline is all right let me work every single day on that trying to match what i'm hearing in my head to my hands let me make the connection because that was a, a hard thing for me to do but once i started making that connection i'm like wow when i improvise now i don't have to sing as much but when i do improvise and i have in my mind um at the same time i don't i don't do a lot of, i don't think i do a lot of thinking ahead when i'm improvising but in the moment when i sync the two it's way way more musical it doesn't feel as mechanical and even if it's repetitive it's like a good repetitive if anybody knows what i mean it's like a good repetitive is is way more um just melodic because that human voice we're naturally you know we sing melodies we naturally make music with our voice it's the other stuff when we try to put our hands in it that it becomes a little more mechanical if it's something that you haven't really worked on and develop so make that part of your daily discipline all right for 20 minutes a day i'm simply gonna try to play everything i can sing in my head i'm gonna try to do all of it i guarantee you if you start with that daily discipline you're gonna see a night and day difference in your playing because most of the time most of us are quiet in our practice most of us not all of us but most of us are quiet in our practice time we don't hear the thoughts that we're coming up with our mind we don't hear them coming through our hands or we separate the two. It's kind of like that walking and chewing gum at the same time. A lot of people can't do it just yet. But if you make a practice and a habit, no matter how terrible you sound when you sing, if you make a practice and a habit of trying to sing and play, I've said it on so many. My monthly members, they know exactly what I'm talking about here because I've talked about this so many times. Trying to sing exactly what it is or trying to rather play exactly what it is you're singing and not only just um trying to play it but trying to articulate it the exact same way that you hear it because some of y'all might be some trash singers i don't mean no harm <laughs> you, you know how you sound you know how you sound but in your mind it sounds a lot better so don't necessarily try to match what you're doing with your vocals but what you're hearing in your head as to the best of your ability try to match that if possible and so once you start doing that and start connecting the dots there you'll see what's happened all right so let's see a, a few more of these comments uh tiffany said there's definitely a better bass player in my head for sure she needs to come <laughs> she needs to come on out yeah you got to pull it out you got to pull that bass player out yes sir that midsection <laughs> got to work on it but listen that midsection is 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 undefeated in a lot of areas for a lot of people so it's something that you you know you definitely got to stay on top of and again it goes back to those daily disciplines uh even with that man before i got on here this morning doing my workouts it's like i'm targeting that guy i'm like you're not gonna get the best of me i might not win the battle today but eventually if i keep that daily discipline if i keep working on that thing if i keep targeting that weak spot eventually i'm gonna build it up i'm gonna build it up y'all excuse me for a second uh i don't know what's happening here all right so um that midsection all right let's go scarabi said yo jerey sorry i'm late today i was praying oh man you don't have to apologize for that listen do your thing talk to the lord he's more important than me <laughs> all right so paris is in lockdown again i don't have enough time to work on my base oh wow man sorry to hear that y'all are in lockdown oh yeah send a i wanted to send special you know for any of you guys who have lost loved ones during this time not to take it down but you know i do understand there's a lot of people out there who are experiencing life 
in all of its glory, however we want to say that. But to any of you guys that ex have experienced loss or sickness during this time, my condolences with you and with your families. I don't speed past that. I don't, you know, disregard the fact that some of you guys need to be on here on Tuesday mornings and, and this is, might be your outlet. So thank you for listening. And if I can provide any inspiration, motivation, encouragement to you at all, I'm here for that. And, and um, yeah, my condolences to you and your family. If you are somebody who's watching this, even in the replay and you, you've gone through that, I, uh, my heart is with you and your family during this time. Um, so yeah, the daily disciplines, the daily disciplines, if you'll do that, keeping, I said early on, keeping your promises to yourself. Once, uh, what I've learned from that, keeping your promises to yourself, it allows you to build confidence because that daily discipline, this use, for example, when we were talking about simply trying to play what you sing, keeping that daily discipline of doing that constantly trying to play what you sing, you do it yesterday, you do it today, you do it tomorrow, and what you will start to notice, you'll develop a habit, and it'll get better, and it'll get better, and after a while, it becomes second nature to you. Now you have a confidence level. When you hear something, it's like, instead of, man, that's crazy, it starts turning into, oh, I think I can play that. And it's that little stuff. And the thing that we're trying to do, we're trying to compound, like uh, you're thinking about money, compounding interest, little by little by little by little. That little stuff matters too. If you do enough of that little stuff and compound it, it's, it starts to create something really huge, something really massive. I think the problem is most of us try to go for the massive thing all at once. We'll put two, three hours in practicing today and then we don't pick the base up again till Friday. And they're wondering like, man, what happened, man? I was on Tuesday. I was sweet. Yeah, but you didn't keep the daily discipline. You didn't keep that thing going. You didn't keep that same energy from day to day. Even if you have uh, multiple times throughout the day that you can pick up this instrument or whatever it is that you're trying to work on, if you can go back to that thing multiple times, keep yourself reminded of it. Have a, a list, have a list of of what you're trying to accomplish in terms of your practice. Where do I want to be in six months? Where do I want to be in a year in my playing? What are some of the goals that I'm going to make to get there? Or some of the, some of the, what's the strategy that I'm going to make for myself in order to get to those goals? What, what am I going to do? And part of that is like, all right, I'm going to pick this base up. <laughs> I got to say this. I do encourage my students to have fun when you're practicing. I mean, by all means, have fun because, man, this thing, with all this theory and all all these rules that everybody's adding to the music, it can get, <laughs> we could be over this thing really quick. I know me personally. I can't speak for everybody on here. Once you start looking at so much information because music is endless. There's so much stuff out there. I mean, from Western music theory, which is considered the main theory, to other people's theory and how they hear music in different countries. I see my man from Paris, how you guys hear music versus how we hear music. My guys from Brazil, how they hear music versus how we hear music. I'm sitting here like, first off, we ain't gonna speed past the fact that Brazil and Paris, y'all on something else over there. That's the, let's, let's get that out of the way. Y'all on some other stuff over in that part of the world. I don't know if they putting some Kool-Aid in the water or I don't know what's going on, but y'all on some other stuff. <laughs> y'all on some other stuff over there. But hearing all of this different stuff, it just lets you know that the possibilities are endless as to where we can go in this music thing. So it's important that we keep it fun, that we keep it fun because the more pressure we put on ourselves, and pressure is a good thing in a, in a sense, it's a good thing, but there has to be some release, just like tension and release. If you're going to have that pressure, you got to let some of that steam off every now and again because you don't want to blow your top in terms of trying to learn all this stuff, trying to get all this stuff, packing information, video after video after video, and you're never enjoying the process. You're just only trying to learn more and more new stuff. No, you got to make time to enjoy. But here's my point after all that rambling. Don't neglect the small daily disciplines, all right? So you have to get some type of regimen in the early stages. And it's probably still good to go back to it 
the, uh, if you're even more seasoned. But especially in those early stages, you have to get some type of regimen. So you do work on, you keeping the main thing, the main thing. You are working on a lot of the fundamental things that you're supposed to have down under your belt. You got to go back to this stuff. You got to make it a habit of working through these things, working through these ideas, because in the long run, these things are really going to serve you. They're going to serve you well in the long run. Let's see a few more of these, um, a few more of these comments here. All right. Um, I, I, I got, I lost my place <laughs> on a positive note. I just bought a second hand boss SYB five synth pedal. That sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, alter real cool. stuff. <laughs> I meant to tell y'all once I finished playing, you see, if you don't have a loop pedal, you're missing out on all kind of fun. You see how fun, how much fun I just had with this loop pedal. And I've been had mine. I think, man, I've, I've probably had this loop pedal nearly 10 years nearly 10 years that i had this this loop pedal and uh yeah it's been a lot of fun i've written a lot of songs and i'm writing a lot more with this looper so be sure to get you something like that to to add to your playing all right um eric good morning man good talk on working with michael uh i'm working with michael manson and he has me practicing every day because um michael mason i'm sorry uh because that that's what he does i got you good stuff good stuff i'm not familiar with the name you mentioned his name so he must be a beast <laughs> all right so shout out to michael mason alter bridge i'm about uh to have uh some low yeah you about to have some low end fun for sure tiffany there is a saying that the trainers use at my gym never miss a monday so now my goal is to never miss a monday on the base no more long weekends and shout out to tiffany Tiffany is one of my students. I'm putting you on blast. You probably embarrassed behind your computer, but <laughs> I'm gonna put you on blast. Tiffany is one of my students who started with me from a beginner stage. I'm talking about playing absolutely nothing, but doing the one finger moving jive, you know what I'm saying? It's just barely making noise on the bass, but now she's playing. She's sending me recordings of her songs. I've asked some of my students to send me recordings throughout the week or throughout like some of my students we we meet once a month so throughout that time i've asked some of them to to send me videos of them you know playing what they're working on i want to hear it i want to hear how they're progressing and i'm hearing the work that she's been putting in and i can tell she's been uh doing those daily disciplines because i've i'm hearing the growth she's playing full song haven't been playing that long and so for somebody to just pick this thing up and go at it full speed kudos to you i'm shouting you out so you can get unembarrassed now, <laughs> but to any other people who are doing that, my dude, Charles as well. I got several students who are doing extremely well working with that instrument. They're new to the instrument, but they're working, they're grinding. Charles is putting in work. Um, my guy, Anthony, I don't want to start calling out names because I don't want to miss anybody. So I'm going to stop right there because I don't want to get in trouble, but you know who you are. Shout out to all of my students who are putting in that work and you're seeing the results the daily disciplines they all matter they all matter so again no matter how old you are you can figure this thing out it's just about the discipline it's about the work that you're putting in it's about the work that you will put in it's about the plan it's about the end goal that end goal is bigger it has to be bigger it has to be bigger so if you're thinking man i just want to be able to to just do that well you think it's too small you think it's too small First off, say, hey, this is what I'm going to do by the end of the year. Set a goal so big that you don't think you can get it. <laughs> what they say, don't, don't, uh, don't uh, shoot for the stars, shoot for the moon or something like that. It, I probably got that completely wrong. But the idea is like, don't shoot for something that's possible. We know man supposedly has been to the moon. So let's, let's go to something that man hasn't been to. Let's go something a little further. Let's go figuratively speaking let's go somewhere in our plan that we've never seen ourselves do it all right i want to be on jermaine's level by the end of the year some of y'all are beyond my level so you might want to be on somebody else's level by the end of the year so whatever that thing is make an unrealistic goal make a super unrealistic goal because when you do that you give yourself something to shoot for and most people tell you man make do find something realistic when you do that a lot of times, Les Brown um, has a saying that many people fail in life not because they aim too high, but because they actually aim too low and hit. 
they aimed too low and they actually hit that target because it was too low for them. You have to set a target that scares you. You have to set some goals. I got some goals on my dream. I got, uh, my, my list is called uh, my dream reality uh, wish list or whatever the case may be. I got to look at the actual name of the list, but it's like the dream reality list. And obviously it's first a dream and then it becomes a reality. And some of that stuff on that on that list is outlandish. Not that it's all materialistic because there are some things on there that are not material, that are still outlandish. But I believe it can happen for me. And that's my mindset. That's where I'm going with it. And I'm, I'm, I'm sticking with my guns when it comes to that because I really, really believe that it's possible for that to happen. If this person done it, I can do it. Well, maybe nobody's done it, but I can still do it. It's possible to be done. And at worst, I'll still be a lot better than where I am. That's the thing with setting a goal that's almost beyond your ability. You're going to push yourself to the limit because if you set yourself a goal that you could possibly reach, yeah, you're going to reach it. But what about all the other stuff that you're going to leave on the table? I want everything that's on the table. If it's for me, I want every bit of it. So I intend to do what I need to do to get every bit of it. I'm not going to settle for what I can see because faith is not seeing. I can't settle for stuff that's at eye level. There's some stuff up in there that I can't see that I need to get to. So you have to set those goals a little bit higher. Set some, <laughs> some unreal, unrealistic goals. All right. So let me go back here. Um, Scribe says, he's a Jermaine, I like to follow you live, but I don't know your schedule because of the time difference. Um, if I'm saying your name right, I know I always ask that question, but I'm normally live here uh, at 7.30 EST, 7.30 Eastern Standard or New York time. I'm, I'm generally here every Tuesday morning, right here. All right. Um, Nicola, uh, hello from... Scop J is that Macedonia? Well, I got that one. I don't know if I'm saying I'm terrible with these uh, uh, names. So good morning to you, uh, or whatever time of day it is there. And know your sound. Keep pushing, Tiffany and Charles. Yes, sir, Stephen. Uh, I would like you to do more tutorials. Uh, I got a ton of tutorials. There are a lot of. You. Be sure to go through this channel. There's a there's a lot of tutorials here on this channel. I've been doing tutorials on this channel since man we got to go back what five six years maybe more so there's there's a ton of base tutorials i'm not saying i'm not going to do more but there are a ton of videos here on this channel so make sure you do check out this uh stuff on this channel and on my website uh i mentioned it earlier but just for the late comers we're gonna get your offering too <laughs> but jermainemorgan.net is my website where i do share in the monthly membership <clears throat> in the monthly membership man this pollen is is something else i'm normally not affected by it but it's, it seems like it's, it's affecting me this morning but i normally share with the monthly membership um tons of lessons i have probably over 200 videos now maybe a little less maybe a little more i don't know i haven't counted so <laughs> but I, I have somewhere in that neighborhood of just content based lessons that you can pull from tons of tutorials for bass players uh, that is available there on uh, the monthly membership at JermaineMorgan.net. Um, who else is that? Keith, good morning, man. Good morning to you. Thank you for the likes. Those of you who like this video, that helps me tremendously when you do that. That helps this, this YouTube algorithm that none of us can seem to figure out. At least most of us can't seem to figure out this YouTube algorithm. So be sure to, uh, be sure to check that out as well as well um be sure to check out um jamie uh what's what's my guy name uh jamie Lewis. i want to say his last name is lewis i did an interview with him uh, just a few weeks ago the guy with the red hat he does bass lessons on here <laughs> that's how most of you guys know him i did a, a couple of interviews with him we did a, a twitch interview a few weeks ago and so he shared a few videos that he and i were talking about so be sure to check that out see up man thanks I appreciate that. I appreciate the good look. Appreciate the uh, the lookout, if you will, on the, uh, the the plug that you gave me. I appreciate that, man. Uh, so, yeah, you guys be sure to check all of that stuff out. So, again, I'm not going to drag this out, but I did want to share that idea with you. 
the daily disciplines, the daily disciplines. It makes all the difference in the world. It's going to make all the difference in your plan, everything that you're trying to accomplish as a player. Set some goals. Do me a favor today. Um, take your phone or a notepad or something and write down some goals. Where do you see yourself at in six months? Uh, actually, let's go a little less than that. Where do you see yourself in three months? Eh, let's go a little less than that. Where do you see yourself at in the next 30 days in your plan? All right. So we got 30, 60, 90 days and a whole year. You got four things that you're working on. You're working towards now on farther down the piece of paper. If you got a little, a little uh, sticky tab, uh, get another tab. Now, what steps am I going to take to get there? What steps, what daily disciplines do I need to develop right now, today, starting now, tomorrow ain't promise. So what daily disciplines do I need to develop today? All right. What daily dis disciplines do I need to develop today in order to get to where I'm trying to get in 30 days? What daily disciplines do I need to develop to get to where I'm trying to get in 60 and 90 and one year? And not only that, what things do I need to cut? loose what things do i need to let go in order to get to that goal that i'm trying to get to somebody write that down because it's going to be important for you if you're really trying to move forward some of you are already sweet you're already doing it you've already had uh you know you've set a goal you've been knocking those goals out of the park you've been keeping those promises to yourself so you sweet you already know what i'm talking to you is just a reminder because you already know you've been doing it. But if this is something that's new to you, especially if you are a new player, you have to set those goals, have to set a target. Where are you trying to get to? How do you plan on getting there? Write all of that stuff down. I'm going to read a few more of these comments. Uh, Scrabby says, who is it? I'm not sure what you mean. Who is the guy with the red hat you're talking about? I think it's, it's, uh, it's, it's Jane. Let me, let me look at this. I got you real quick. Give me a second. I can pull it up real fast. Yeah, Jamie Lewis, J-A-Y-M-E, Jamie Lewis. You can follow his uh, his uh, YouTube channel as well. He's a bass, he's a um, bass player, a uh, bass instructor, phenomenal musician. And uh, yeah, he wears a red hat. <laughs> People know me for this hat. He wears a red one, but not like this one. He wears a, a red baseball cap. He's pretty easy to find. All right, so um, Andrew says, Hi, Jermaine. I'm totally off script, but what's your take on the vaccine? And will you and your wife be taking it? I plead the fifth on the grounds that that might incriminate me. <laughs> so I I'm, I see your statement and it has been pinned and noted and I'm not going to respond. <laughs> I'll leave that where it's at. So that way I don't get down a rabbit hole on that on that particular topic. All I will say, do what's necessary for you and your family and you know use caution do what you got to do and i don't condemn or promote either way um me personally i i'm not saying i don't have a stance on it but publicly i'm not i'm not sharing that that's kind of like me talking about politics publicly and i don't do that and no disrespect or none, none of that but you know I, I i try to stay away from those because in terms of where I'm trying to go and what I'm trying to do with this channel, that doesn't really move the needle far forward for me in terms of what we're doing here on this channel. So, um, yeah, uh, Reginald, what's up, man? Good morning to you. Uh, <laughs> Steve said, plead the fifth. Yes, sir. I plead the fifth. I plead the fifth. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, it's no, it's Jamie, Jamie Lewis, J not Jeremy Lewis. If you look up Jeremy Lewis, I don't know who you're going to find. And you probably definitely won't find an interview with me. I, I don't I don't know who that is. But yeah, you can go up earlier. Know Your Sound spelled his name in the comment section. So you can actually go up just a few scroll up and you can see how to, to spell his name. So, yeah, it's um you'll find what you're looking for. Some some great base content as well. C-Dub, my guy, if he's still here, be sure to follow him. He's doing some amazing things. If you guys are whatever you play, it don't even matter. He's doing what's your take? What's your take? He's been doing a lot of videos on um, YouTube, but he does it live right there on Facebook. It's every, um, I don't want to say the details wrong. So follow C-Dub and you can know exactly how to get involved 
into his uh it's not a competition but it's it's, it's something that musicians come together and they play on this track he gives a, a simple track like a loop and maybe like one other thing and musicians from all around the world submit their take in terms of what they're hearing on the track without hearing all of the rest of the musicians there and it's so cool to hear how all of it comes together because none of these cats are playing together but when he started dropping the tracks in there and hearing everybody's stuff together you would think all of these people were in the same room so it's a really really super dope concept that's that's my uh brother from another mother we've been we've been real cool for many years <laughs> been real cool for many years so be sure to, to check out the c dub brand if you're not already following that channel be sure to check out the c dub brand and i also want to mention uh, while i'm here there's an app that he created called Scale Junkie. It's super dope. The concept is super dope for this app. This app is so dope. If you're looking for some some other types of practice tools, he has these jam tracks that you can literally um, take out different instruments and that kind of stuff with and play to these tracks. And it's like they play di the different scales. Like for instance, let me pull up the app. They play, this is what the app looks like. I don't know how well you can see this. But they, um, let me see if I can f pull up something really quick. This is a bad advertisement, C-Dub, but you, you, you know. <laughs> so he has like the half whole scale. That's one of the scales on it. A minor pentatonic is one of the scales on it. Major scales and, and minor scales and more to come. Uh, he got a lot of different creators that's creating some of these uh, scales. But what it is, is just not the scale by itself. It's like a whole groove to the scale let's let's play a little bit of it so you can get an idea of what i'm talking about this is uh i'm trying to play this to my microphone so check this out this is so dope so if you wanted to take all of that stuff out you can take the music out and just hear the scale So it's, it's super, super cool. 